Hi, besties. How's it going? How are you doing? How are you all doing? I see you all praying for my downfall by saying how many orders is Ira going to get done? One, two, three or none. So I've just done a poll. What do you reckon? Sorry about my neck. It's got loads of pseudocreme on it. I've got that like sort of stress rash thing again. What are you all saying? Hi, Brittany. Hi, Sarah. Hi, other Sarah. Hi, Carpe Diem. Hi, Pink Bear. How's it all going? I'm going to start making orders now. <laughs> I don't trust any of you. I'm praying for my downfall. Good evening. How's everybody doing? I've had a really good day. So today I had my sister-in-law round. So we smashed through the last of the orders. So um, yeah, we just absolutely killed it. So like nearly everything is on its way to you. So I currently have seven um, live orders. Hi, Bethan. Seven live orders, outstanding. And um, three of them we're hopefully making tonight. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll keep it really, really low. So currently my turnaround time is like one or two days, which is really good. Hi, Georgia. Hi, Emma. You voted. What did you vote for? So, so far, one order is winning. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Hi, Paula. Hi, Charlie. Charlie, I sent your order off today. Oh, no. What happened to your budget this week, Jessica? It's really, like, December is such a hard week to budget for. Week? Month. It's a really, really hard one. Um, Jessica, my hubs and I are on a no spend December except needed items now because we spent too much in November. Oh, that's a tough month to do it. Well done. Kirsty, I've just messaged you on Patreon. Do not share that code, please. <laughs> Kirsty won our, um, the, um, the giveaway. So I've just sent Kirsty a, a the biggest coupon code I've ever done. <laughs> it was a big one. It hurt to make it, honestly. Uh, I'm tempted to make another order. I've ordered from you a lot of millet. You have, Shillot. You have ordered a lot from me. Only if you need it and only if it's going to help you and only if you can justify it and you've got the spare cash for it or it's budgeted. Those are my rules. I'm, uh, I'm excited for now. How fast? Yeah, really, really, really fast at the moment. Like, like really zippy. And I'm really pleased about that. Uh, I just hope I don't get sort of inundated. But I can't imagine I will be. Everyone's buying like gifts and stuff, aren't they? My Patreon parcels were delivered today. Oh, I'm so glad you liked it, budgeting mama. I'm really glad that that's, that's quite rapid because I sent them out, what was it, Tuesday? And it's Thursday, so that that's quick, that's good. Like some stuff is like super quick and some stuff just isn't quick at all. Yeah, I need to do that as well. I need to take money to the bank. I received, thank you very much. Now decide what to buy. Oh, the world's your oyster. There's some like pricey stuff on there that you could just get for free, basically. There's a, um, what would I buy? I'd probably buy Saving Turn Volume 2 and all the envelopes. Up to you. If you had 40 quid for my shop, what would you buy with it? Is the question. Uh, just saw you have packed my order on the Vlogmas uh, 8. The envelopes look stunning and always can't wait to receive it home. Should come really, really soon, Chris. Uh, I'm sure, uh, just super love my latest order. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Love your coin videos, Carpe DM, yeah. We only had enough money last week to cover bills. Then one car went crap. Other needed to have a new tyres and brakes. Well, that's not your fault. Do you have like a bit of an emergency fund yet or is that something you want to work on next year for when stuff like that happened? A mini binder. Oh yeah, you could get a mini binder. 
Uh, my $40 would go to stickers. I'm super obsessed. Sticker obsessed. Yes, I love stickers. I love my stickers too. Envelopes are awesome. I'd get another cash tray, some new envelopes, everything I could probably get for 40 quid. Just try and get as much as you possibly could, yeah. Rough, rough, rough. Uh, this week should be much better. Good. I'm glad you're feeling positive, all right? Guilt free replace all of my envelopes in one go. Bestie, same. Bestie, same. So I haven't even edited Vlogmas for tomorrow yet. Gonna do that after this. But I haven't really filmed much today. How did you find today's Vlogmas? Good, bad. Okay. So we still reckon one order is gonna get done today. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna chat while making orders. <laughs> Praying for my downfall. Carpe, my Max uh, is mad. I showed off my laptop about four times today as I've been working. I've been filming myself unboxing all your plan or something different comes out Saturday. Oh, lovely. Flipping mo moggies. Oh, good. Glad you liked it. Had two close family members pass away on the first and your vlogs have genuinely got before. Oh, that's really nice. Well, it's not nice that they passed away, but I'm glad that I could help in some really, really small way. And I'm super sorry for your loss. Uh, it was rough, but we got through it. Not without almost breakdown and throwing in the towel. Yeah, I mean, like, you can have a tantrum about it. Like, that's completely, completely normal. But just getting through it and being positive, everyone can do it. Uh, you never get on this quick. You normally have a good nap first. Right? It's because we did nothing last time. So I'm just going to work in the background. <laughs> I like having a natter. Uh, well, one order is better than Tuesday's effort. Absolutely. Loves the vlogmas. Can't get uh, enough of it. You should be able to do one order today. I hope so. Hi, Simple Aussie Planner. My wild card set and booklet came today. Oh, good. Love them both. Can't wait to start using them. Oh, good. Hi, Donna. How's it going? I think I need glasses. <laughs> Or maybe I just need to stop cutting envelopes. Oh, I've been making, like, I've been, like, really working hard. I've been going at full speed and I'm loving it. I'm loving every second of it. Have you done all my envelope labels yet, Ira? Paula, they got posted today. How many vinyl colours did you want? It looked pretty easy at the start. And then I was like, what? <laughs> There's a lot of different colours. So you'll see all of that being made on tomorrow's vlog. Thank you for the order. I changed my mind and saved the 40 quid for secret projects. Oh, that's smart. So there is a secret project coming out that's going to be... Well, I don't really know what the prices are going to be, <laughs> to be honest. But what is going to be about 40 quid, to be fair? Oh! Get yourself a monocle. Do you reckon? Monocle would be amazing. Only 36 labels and 8 colours. That is not too much. Right? <laughs> it's one of those ad, like lists of orders that's quite deceiving. It's like, oh, okay, nine in red, nine in black. Oh, and then you look deeper and you're like, oh my goodness. Sophie lost your lot's corner and congratulations on your engagement. Is one of them colours in tartan? What? No. Tartan. So today I am making 
a uh, budget starter pack. So the starter pack that's currently getting redesigned. So it's the older version. So the patrons know what the newer one looks like. And then I am also making like a single January envelope. I think I'm doing a uh, the four sided dice challenge as well. And I'm just doing some zippers. There's some January zippers and they're quite nice. If you'd like to see them, just let me know. But otherwise, I'm here for you. I think this blade's going really dull, but I really like how it cuts. Except it's dull. Oh, it's really dull. Oh, you've liked. Yeah, if everybody could like, that would be wonderful before Paula gets on you about it. Uh, I'm organising my budget binders for the new year. So different types of categories in different colours. Yeah, I like it. Good. Uh, Paula, that's a great idea. I've got some new envelopes to order from Ira. Probably two. Need to get myself organised. Yeah, I mean, I'm going through mine and organise. Well, I suppose mine's still kind of all right. But I'm just going to add a couple bits to it and refresh a couple bits at some point. Sorry, I've made an absolute meal of one of these envelopes. Has anybody watched, I've been watching that um, Meghan and Harry thing on Netflix. It's really interesting. Uh, imagine my driving test for the 19th got cancelled and reorganised for me. Oh, God. That's a lot, isn't it? I am good, Shiloh. Thank you so much. I'm setting up a crafting budget binder. I need it. Just ordered my Christmas present to myself last night. 99 pounds of Kaima. I don't... Oh, I think I know what that is. Is it like manga paper? I'm in a caravan watching you on holiday in Australia. Fantastic. Fantastic. I love a caravan, as you well know. Can't go wrong with a caravan. Morning. Uh, did you say morning? Oh, good evening, besties. Mason's here, everyone. They're making you wait six months for a new test. Can you imagine what would happen to Ira if everyone watching hit the like button? He would probably keel over. Do you know what? I would. Could you imagine? I would just keel over, besties. That'd be it. D-E-D. -E -D. Dead. I think you should watch what I'm doing because you, I'm not really talking much because I'm concentrating. We're making rainbow envelopes today. Mason, did you get your order? What, did you like it? Your goal is to survive 2023. I mean, bestie, same. I have to build my emergency fund, save for my son's birthday and a new back door. Oh yeah, did you get your back door smashed in, Donna? Emergency 1K. Clear debt, much possible debt. Oh really, have they? I didn't know about that shit lot. I've got a wedding to pay for somehow, oh jeez. Yes, I loved it, Bessie. True be told, I ordered two times 26 week envelopes by mistake. Oh, oh. I did think that was a bit weird that you ordered two. 
But I didn't say anything, because people do weird things. Do you know what I mean? People order things that I wouldn't necessarily do, so I was just like, ah, oh, she's probably just being smart. Uh, are you determined to beat our guests? I am, absolutely. Mine's August, I'm gonna be a bin bag with my budget. <laughs> no, it's not old. Got the front one done and the windows this year. Okay. <laughs> to know where all our money goes, literally write everything down, but hubby isn't on board. Oh, it's hard, isn't it? Wouldn't have done any of that if I didn't start budgeting, right? Everyone's on strike this month. Uh, driving examiners, ambulance staff, nurses, a lot I know, right? What did I have for dinner? I know you asked me, sorry. Tonight for dinner, we had uh, quiche, like a cheese and onion quiche and some like some rice with some like peas and sweet corn and carrot and um, broccoli. It was delicious. Um, and I had it with some Tabasco sauce, but like the saucy type, not the like dip, dip, dip one, the saucy type. What did you have, Shillot? What did you all have for tea? Uh, we've got to get a front door and the paint the current one. It's not original to a house. Oh. Oh, jeez, 85 pound a person is a lot. The car needs fixing, 400 pound bill, and we'll not be ready until next week. I have the savings, thankfully, but I'm not sure how we'll cope without a car. Right, it's so hard without a car. Even for me, and I only go to the post office once a day, and that's it. Jack of potato, Sarah, what did you have with it? Did you have beans or cheese or both? Or did you have tuna? I don't understand why people put, like, hot fish on potato. That doesn't sound right to me. <laughs> so annoying to use. <laughs> Do you ever like get like a pencil and like you sharpen it so much you're down to the nib? That's what I'm like with this thingy. It's like there's like nothing left to it and it's really annoying, but I'm not throwing it away. I'm not wasting it. Beans, cheese and tuna. Oh no. Cheesy hot fish. Nice. I, I don't think I'd like dinner around yours. I can't wait for my monthly stickers to come. Big thanks to Sarah for helping me. I posted them today. Homemade sausage rolls with chips. That sounds good. Leftover Chinese besties. Oh, that's good. But I didn't know such a thing existed. Leftover Chinese. I've never leftover Chinese in my life. Uh, we ordered Domino's, it <laughs> cost me 50 quid, but it was budgeted. Oh, good, good, good. It was one of the family members who passed away, brother, uh, birthday today, so we were going, it was his favourite. Oh, that's worth it then, isn't it? That's nice. What, what pizza did you have? I must admit, I'm not a Domino's fan. I am definitely a Pizza Hut girly. What's rude? Oh, I just like, I'm not a fan of fish anyway, but then like a hot potato with cold tuna on it with cheese and then the tuna gets warmed up. So it's hot fish with cheese on top and then beans. That doesn't seem nice to me. I made roast dinner, God knows why, on a Thursday. Emma. I'm coming around your house then. I had spinach, sticky uh, jasmine rice with nor stock pot and soy sauce over uh, pork chunks with oodles of pepper. That does sound good. I don't, I'm not really feeling um, meat at the moment. My parents came to see me today and um, we had fish and chips and I had a, uh, what was it that I had? I had, can you see everything? I had um, a pea fritter. That's like my favorite thing. Hi, Lofo Kelly. 
It's 10 till 4, we've got time. Yes, Brittany. Don't judge me for the choice. I've been craving sweet corn, so I had chicken, sausage and sweet corn. That's, like, I love sweet corn. Yeah, I'd have that. I'd have that for sure. A bit of gravy? Listen, I don't have to offer. No, <laughs> I swear, simple. Last time we spoke about what we had for dinner, you had jack of potato with, like, hot fish on top. <laughs> well, as long as it makes you happy, I'm happy. In the US, hot tuna casserole is popular. Oh, God, no. No. To be fair, a few times I had Pizza Hut, it was just so greasy. I'm lactose intolerant, so I thought I shouldn't have pizza. I mean, that may be why I like Pizza Hut. I don't know. But I just get pepperoni passion at Pizza Hut. Like, I don't really mess with the classics, do you know what I mean? But I must admit, the Domino's garlic sauce is the best. It is really, really good. She's really good. Simple budgets are like, I will eat that too. No, no, no. Oh, well, Bethan, I don't know. Jack potato every night for Sarah. It is, right? That's all she eats. Jack potato and advent candor for dessert. <laughs> Definitely. Every sort of casserole is popular in the US and all the salads that aren't really salads in the Midwest. Oh, yeah. Like, I've seen, like, salads with marshmallows in. Or oh, what's that thing that you lot have a, um, uh, like, with your Thanksgiving dinner? Is it, like, sweet potato mash with, um, <laughs> uh, marshmallows on top? Like, with your roast potatoes? Sounds appalling. Chicken strips that dominate... What, you'd go... Oh, I suppose if you're lactose intolerant, you haven't got much choice. <laughs> But I don't know why you get, like, not ham and pineapple pizza person. Are you, Bethan? Yeah. Uh, I have pizza chain in New Zealand called Hell's, and they're so good. And the pizza boxes can make a coffin with leftover pizza. Oh, that is cute. I oh, remember, Asian, you mentioned a video being posted, do you have a YouTube channel? And you were asking us to send you a short video. Can you explain what you mean? Okay, so if you have a YouTube video, well, it says it in the description, but basically, if you have a YouTube channel and you are looking to sort of get more followers or just get a bit more exposure or something like that, or want to practice, um, you know, sort of doing stuff, um, on the 11th of December, um, I'm sharing a load of people's um, uh, intros. Um, so we've got four already. Um, and basically it's just a two minute video that you would have on your, like as an introduction to you and what your channel's all about. Um, and then, you know, I will post that on mine. So it's like a bigger audience, so more people will see it. And then people will potentially go over and subscribe to your channel. So if it's something that you fancy doing, just uh, we transfer me over uh, one to two minute video and a thumbnail. And I will post that on the 11th of the December. And um, hopefully more people can see you because I know it's hard to get seen at the start. Sweet potatoes and marshmallows one is super sweet. I couldn't imagine anything more heinous than your gravy, your potatoes, your turkey, and then your, your bloody marshmallows. <laughs> is it all on the same plate? A bit of stuffing and a bit of marshmallow. Gross. <laughs> Cheese in tomato soup. I heard that on the last live. That sounds really good. I was judging on my food decisions, absolutely. I tried cheese in tomato soup. I have a cheese toasty dipped in tomato soup. That's always good. My family always puts brown sugar and cinnamon on sweet potatoes. Never cared for it. Yeah, that does sound right. Uh, can we make a tomato soup with grilled cheese sandwiches here? In the exactly, that's banging. That is banging. Grilled cheese sandwich dipped in tomato soup. Yes, yes, yes. Bethan, I always put cheese in soup, no matter what the flavour. <laughs> Uh, yeah, on the same plate, but you don't mix it together. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'm a fan. But we, uh, some of our food choices in the UK must be really bizarre to 
Americans. I'm sure of it. I'm making my mum watch your live too, so that's got into budgeting too. Oh, hello, Shilot's mum. How's it going? Oh, hello to my mum as well. She said she'd be watching tonight. A cheese and chicken soup with tuna. Have you ever had tuna for pineapple? Sincera, seriously, we need to have a talk. Are you okay? <laughs> Tuna. I thought hot tuna was one thing. Now you're saying fish with fruit. Like something that belongs in a tree and something that belongs in the sea. Like, are you okay? Do I need to send help? I feel like calling the police. Mason, yes, it's absolutely freezing tonight. Absolutely so cold. Like, I think it's like too cold to snow, sort of cold. Icicles on my toes. Snow here too. I'm in Scotland, we had snow that Oh, did you? My husband thinks our baked beans are gross. He can't get over the fact that they are tomato based. They don't taste tomato-y though. It's just bean juice, do you know what I mean? You're fabulous, yeah. Bloody gorgeous, okay, calm down. It's not, no. Fishy, fruity fish. Fishy fruit. No. <laughs> I hate baked beans in the States. Tomato base are better. Cheese and pineapple for sure, or tuna. No, 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 no. Cheese and pineapple is like 70s pie. Just are about tolerable. But fishy fruit or fruity fish, I'm sorry, you have lost me on this one. Electric chair. 999, what's your emergency? Please, please, my friend is eating pineapple and tuna. <laughs> tuna mayo with uh, green grapes cooked. What is wrong with you? Grape. And no, no, no. So a pineapple tuna sounds absolutely vile, truth be told. Absolutely. <laughs> fishy fruit, sh oh, fishy fruit. No, we can't have that. Fruity fish, right? <laughs> Sarah, <laughs> why'd you get bullied? It's because you like fishy fruit and you eat an entire advent calendar in one sitting. I mean, you kind of do it to yourself. I'm not trying to victim blame here, but if you are gonna do that, expect ridicule. <laughs> the simple budget, we aren't seafood eaters, though that's probably why. I cut with tuna and pineapple, right? But someone, who said grape and fish on pasta? Do I remember this? I wasn't alive in the 70s, but like I see like photos of like, like an onion or a potato covered in tin foil with cocktail sticks sticking out of it with cubes of cheese and pineapple. Like, okay, cool, work, probably okay. But are you gonna introduce wet fish on top of that? No, no, no. Sarah, I'm reporting you for your terrible taste buds. Kirsten, we're talking about fishy fruit. Fruit in a salad, a step too far for me. I mean, Bethan, okay, right. A crunchy red apple chopped up into cubes in a salad, can't go wrong. Would I chuck a banana in it? No. Would Sarah? Probably. She'd probably put, you know, Bit of mince in there. I know. <laughs> Do 
Duffing will be an advent candle in one go. Not sure I can defend fishy fruit though. Absolutely. Uh, we need to get on that intervention show. <laughs> A&E. Cheese and pineapple is the bee's knees too. Um, I mean, we can agree to disagree. We can agree to disagree on that. And we can agree. Oh, you don't have the uh, an advent calendar. Oh no, you'd have to get one. They'd be cheap at the moment. <laughs> Kirsty needs an intervention too, right? How is Jake? Jake's good. Uh, he's a bit sleepy. Um, obviously, uh, but he's only got work tomorrow, and then after that, he's a free man for the weekend. And he's going to wrap the last of our presents because we finished all of our Christmas shopping and we were slightly under budget too. So, um, we've got like, uh, like 20 quid left over, so we are probably going to get um, one adult something. if I can find anything nice. It all goes down the same way, gross. <laughs> Chris, a night of warm tuna and pineapple, enjoy bestie. Mm -mm -mm. It's cold pineapple with cold tuna. Are you introducing any sort of condiment with that? Are you gonna put mayo with that tuna and then put fruit in it? Like what's going on? There's budgeting. I choked to death on my chocolate from that line. <laughs> Was watching your vlog the other day, Ira, when you said the asthma lady stickers had run out and nearly cried. I have a collection of all your stickers, but I've uh, I found one from my last order. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, she's gone. She's literally gone. Um, basically, I order 500 stickers at a time, and I know that it would be cheaper to get like a thousand, two thousand stickers at a time, but I know that you like it when I rotate them. So, um, 500 stickers normally lasts quite a long time, but they just have an over Christmas, so I, I got a bit caught out this time. Besties, not gonna lie. I've had so many freebie stickers. I was thinking of sending you two to give out us freebies until you get more. <laughs> you order too much, that's the issue. Ketchup, no, nothing, just tuna and pineapple. Oh, so it's all briny, Sarah. So it's briny fish <laughs> with pineapple. <laughs> oh, hi Stephanie, you're right. What is salad cream? Is that what I call white? No, 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 no. Salad cream is like, a you probably wouldn't like it. It's a very specific British thing. So it's like a vinegary. It's so hard to describe. It's like vinegary condiment, consistency of ketchup. Um, and it goes really well with like cucumber, lettuce, stuff like that. Um, I don't really eat it, but Jake has it a lot. Like, people who like it, really like it. I'm not, like, a number one fan of it. But as uh, Carpe says, it all goes down 1L. When'd you get your care? <laughs> Mason, stop inciting violence and hatred towards me. We are not opening advent calendars until the 13th. Listen, just imagine what it's going to be like on the 12th. You're going to be so excited. You'll, be, you'll struggle to go to sleep. And then you'll wake up on the 13th and go, oh, my budget with Ira calendar. And you'll run downstairs with your nightgown on. And you'll open your calendar and go, oh, that was a bit shit. <laughs> Ira hyped this up so much. It's a bit shit, TBH. So I've missed loads from the chat. What are you all saying? Um, oh, by the way. Delish. Uh, tuna and pineapple. Right, Sarah? Watermelon and feta is nice. Okay. Um, no. 
no, 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 no. Bottle of wine would uh, go down well, but I rate it as open up. No, uh, for the US question, since you are always, how do you do challenges when you are first starting out and don't have much spare money? Um, I would always recommend this, this savings challenge if you don't have much money. So if they're on my Etsy store, and they come with a dice and it could go up to four. So the most you're ever saving at one time is $4. So the intention of this is you roll the dice and whatever number is pointing upwards is what you'll save. So if I rolled this and it landed like that, I'd save four because they've one, two, three, four. And it kind of gets you into the habit of saving it. Um, and you can do that as long as you want to. I definitely recommend that for people who don't have lots of expendable money can't be a good salad cream sandwich. I love a salad cream sandwich. Yeah, really buttery and really salad creamy. <laughs> Sarah, is tuna steak or tuna? It's gonna be tuna flakes, isn't it? It's not tuna steak. I've got five of the Donut Trust Ira pink freebie stickers. Oh, you gotta keep them. They're collector's editions, they. Tuna flakes, drain them from the liquid, of course, and pineapple makes it not dry. <laughs> Oh, no, Rachel, no, no. My husband is at a hospital. He's still got back and we have his heart jump started to get back working better. Is it not running right? Oh no, is he all right? I've even still got the Christmas freebie sticker from last year. Have you? Bestie, you've been going strong. Let's FaceTime and do it, Rich. Mason and Rachel, you two, do I need to have a word? Do I need to intervene? Hey besties, I'm sorry late to I just got a nice relaxed bath. Oh good, Ray, I just had a bath as well. We were probably in the bath together. Uh, chopped chives and salad cream, sandwich cream. Oh, okay. Hey Ray, we're all talking about fishy fruit. Someone loves fishy fruit. I'm sick of waiting. To be fair, the first week of December has zoomed, but still not fair, right? Okay, Mason, Rachel, you both need to sit in a corner until you change your ways. <laughs> I like it. Paul has gone into mum mode. And you will be in trouble. I do the Wompy Challenge and use my change at the end of the week. That's good. I've had a bit of creepy time. Crappy time this past week and really like to open, truth be told. Mason, no. You're not allowed. I haven't even been tempted to open my advent calendar. Mason, is there anything we can help with? We're all here together. We're all a bunch of besties. We're all here for you. You want sweets? Salad cream and marmite sandwich. Carbe dia. Are you flirting with me? Because that sounds like a really good time. I really feel like uh, ready whipped mayo from America is close to salad cream. Really? Okay. Did you say people think you will do two orders cells? Where are you at? I think I'm gonna do them all. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do all three. All right, can you hurry up and make uh, me a mod so I can kick simple budgets for a dial of biomedical food choices? Uh, Mason, can you just message me your channel URL and then I'll add you. I know you don't have a channel, but you kind of do have a channel. So if you just message me your URL, I will add you. Because I can't find you because you've got no followers. Uh, a crappy week with my daughter. One trip to hospital and three weeks in a row in the doctors. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, s simple, I'll make you a mod as well so you can kick Mason and then everyone's happy, right? There's budgeting, do not pass the go, do not collect 200, that nasty Marmite somewhere else. Oh, I love Marmite. Cheeky move over, babes. I don't want the tap end, sorry. <laughs> uh, I have a little envelope that I just collect all the stickers in. I literally called Budget with Ira Goodies. I've kept all my order sheets and thank you cards. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. One day you might be able to sell that for millions. I need a couple of New Year's. Does anyone want to go and spare? What happened to your legs? Mayo that we get thick is not vinegary, like ketchup consistency as Ira described, right? Yes, thank you, still not 100%. I've got some salad cream, I can show, it's like a, a off-white ivory color. How, British people, what does salad cream taste like? I think it tastes like vinegary, but I guess that's it. It's like a vinegary mayo, but not curdled.
What shady? What shady? Mason, who was shady? I love the order sheets. I'm. Oh, God, the chat's going too fast now. He's still going to wait Christmas. Yeah, I'm still going to wait Christmas. Really looking forward. That's why I'm doing so well with orders at the moment, because I'm just trying to get through. I love the order sheets. I'm collecting on rainbow of the meshes. Oh, cute. Salad cream tastes like salad cream. You know what, Mason? You're absolutely right. You are absolutely right. Salad cream does taste like salad cream. You are factually and contractually correct, Your Honor. It tastes dirty, said the person who likes fruity fish. Some of us are of those having a rough week. Absolutely. Show us, Ira. Here in the UK, so we have salad dressing and mayo. Oh, I'll get it out in a bit. Sorry, but Sarah Tuna. <laughs> You're always a step ahead of me, Mason. Uh, what does it say in the ingredients? Oh, do you know what? Let me get one. So besties, we have a Morrison's Savers salad cream. As you can tell, Jake does like salad cream. Ingredients are water, sugar, rapeseed oil, spirit vinegar, maize starch, mustard, flour, salt, egg yolk, stabilizers, and then some preservatives. There you go, it's sort of that color. Um, and it is pretty banging. And um, salad cream, I don't care who you talk to, so like, Ketchup, you can only have Heinz. Salad cream, you can have anyone's because it all tastes the same. Do you all agree? Do you all agree? Or am I talking rubbish? I feel like December is a very mixed month for people. So sending love to people that aren't so festive. Absolutely. Love salad cream, but it is tangy. It is tangy. Uh, 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 oh. Uh, I'm really far away from the chat. I looked up, sounds like salad cream is a mayo mixed with vinegar. Yeah, it is. I think so. Were you, okay. Yes, Mason, so I looked up, sounds like, okay, okay. You were shady saying I had no followers. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, babes. <laughs> that wasn't meant to be a, oh, you have no followers. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like vinaigrette, but less bitter. I love salad cream and cheese sandwich. That is banging. Bethan, my December's been the worst month so far for me. Lost my stepfather and close family member who called Nan. Oh, I'm so sorry. Quick guy is not here. Grab your advert. Mason, I'm warning you. I will stick to our mail, which is made with lemon juice. Oh. Mason, don't be a rebel. Yeah, such a reb, Mason. <laughs> Oh, this chat is going too fast for me. I need to turn slow mode on. Uh, she's back. I'm fighting the temptation over mine. Tuesday, need to. Yeah, do not do it. Let's start on number one. No, Mason, Rachel, no. <laughs> I like sound aggression in that season. No, look, you're just doing this to be mean to me. You're just getting my heart rate up. I've got the Red Bull for that. Uh, I'm from the home of Heinz. You better only buy Heinz. Really? You're a name brand. You're a designer, girly. Mason, I heard that. Back to the bad chair for the corner. Yes, that's all tastes the same. Vinegar and mustard, basically. Hellman's mayo, Heinz salad cream. Oh, really? I'm not a mayo person either. Like, I will buy cheap mayo, but it has to be actual Heinz um, ketchup. Gotta be. And Heinz tomato soup, but all other soups are cool. Fair game. The ingredients of salad cream is somewhere similar to Miracle Whip. I've just sent you some, Ira. It's like in between salad cream and Hellman's. Is it? Jake is like the the, the um, condiment girly. Miracle Whip just, it sounds like, um, like that marshmallow fluff. It sounds like that. Share your channel, Mason, and we'll follow. Mason, do you actually have like a, a channel? Hi, Gio, how's it going? 
Oh, I've got some mayo, I do. Oh, I love me some mayo. Some people really like mayo. Me, it just tastes like, you know, butter. So busy with work, I've been a complete sloth outside of work the past month or so. I don't blame you, Gio. Do not blame you. This lot are trying to distract me from making envelopes, but I will not have it. I will not have a bar of it. I'm making envelopes no matter what you say. Trust you to like the grossest condiments, Sarah. <laughs> My husband likes me. I prefer Miracle Whip. Oh, I think I do need to try Miracle Whip. <laughs> Paula, I haven't done any full orders yet, but I believe I'm going to get through all of these orders. We've only been on for 45 minutes, so I think I'm going to be done in about half an hour. So we are loving life. I love burger sauce. Jake likes burger sauce as well. I think it tastes quite gherkin-y. I love the pepper mayo for it's like KFC. Oh, KFC supercharged mayo. That is elite. Elite. Bacon A's. Oh, you might have to bin your son. Bacon A's sounds horrendous. What do you get at Nando's? Feel like I can divide opinions. So my order at Nando's, 100% of the time, I can tell you my order and what Jake's order is. So my order is a hot butterfly chicken and two spicy rice every single time, no matter what. And if I'm feeling frisky, I will in fact get a uh, garlic bread, your honor. And Jake always gets the medium uh, chicken burger and he gets chicken livers. Right, Rachel? I'm actually doing my job. Can you believe it? No, burger sauce is ketchup with mayo. That's the saucy sauce. Yeah, Hilda's doing good. I like Nando's. I I will I will fuck with Nando's any day of the week. Last time I had Nando's was when do you remember ages ago? I did that video with Yasmin. That's when I had Nando's last. Saucy sauce, you don't know what saucy sauce is? Saucy sauce you can get from Heinz, but you, you, should, you could just make it yourself. And it's 50-50 or 50-50, um, half mayo, half ketchup. And I call it fish sauce. <laughs> And that's the closest to me in a fish as you'll get. But I've always called it fish sauce. <laughs> you must stop immediately, my eyes are burning. <laughs> so sorry. Medium butterfly chicken, peri peri chips and coleslaw. That is good. Uh, medium butterfly chips and coleslaw. Okay, that is good. That is good. I will have to disagree that medium is a bit too lemony for my liking. So I will in fact get a hot butterfly, Your Honor, and I will get two spicy rice because spicy rice is as close to jollof rice as I'm, as like you can get. So I'm all right with that. Ketchup and mayo is seafood sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah I call it fish sauce. You smash the order exactly You've both smashed that, my order exactly, with a side of halloumi. I do like the halloumi, but it literally, Nando's, you can really rack up a bill very easily going, oh, I'll have this, or oh, I'll have that. But I really like those um, little garlic breads you get because they've got the, they're like a lemon shape, so the hard little corners, oh, that's what dreams are made of. Bit of crunchy garlic bread, cat. Go wrong there. What do you get, Sarah? You didn't realise the vlog was up. That is outrageous behaviour. Brittany, the US KFC sauces are completely different from the US. When we were there, so disappointing, the US has more choices. Yeah, they have a lot more um, sauce choices. Like, I especially like that in McDonald's in America, you can get ranch. That's, that's elite. That's really, really nice. 
Um, that's actually quite vinegary. That's probably the closest thing to salad cream, to be fair. Um, uh, yeah, but the the supercharger mayo in KFC is really good. It's kind of like um, Southwest sauce in Subway. It's good. Nathan, we chunky together. We tried the Nado's garlic sauce. Um, no. No, sometimes I use the salad dressing to dip my chips in if I get chips though. I got a love food chat. It's been like Chinese buffet tonight. My belly is fit for bursting. Oh no, I had fish and chips today. Oh, pea fritter and chips today. And I am still full, like still really full. But that ain't gonna stop me from drinking my Red Bull. Burger sauce is gherkin tasting. Ketchup mayo sauce signs behind basically Maria Rose. Yeah, 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 right, yeah. Mary Rose sauce. Ranch is 10 out of 10. We always have a bottle in the fridge and one as a backup. <laughs> People like ranch. People just like ranch. Uh, Rachel Susie living life. Chinese is great. Yes, I'm up for that. Mason, budget array. That makes sense. We'll put uh, three burgers there. Put all three burgers there. Oh no, oh no, oh no! A dirty person! <laughs> oh, quickly, quickly, it's three girls, three girls. I do have some spam. I've hidden them and I've banned them. Charlie, so Charlie's Philly Steve Cheese Eggs, how did I have both the Americans? Okay, right, so I've got some things that I need to recommend to some British people as a matter of urgency. So two things. Number one is, if you go to Tesco's at the moment, they've got a deal on those, you know, those two packs of Chicago Town pizzas? Um, they, I've got a deal on those, and one of them is a chili, chi, Philly cheese steak one, which is okay, but they've got that enjuda, enjuda pepper, you know, the really sweet, lovely pepper, they've got that, uh, on a pizza, um, and the, like, the base is orange, like, it's really, really nice, and the other thing that I had yesterday is from McDonald's, I had the plant burger, best burger in McDonald's, by far, better than a Big Mac, better than everything. I would definitely 100% recommend a McPlant. It was so good. It's like a Beyond Meat patty, but because it's it's not like proper Beyond Meat, because it's like thin, um, but it has like a whole, like it just tastes fresher and it's nicer. Lovely. With a banana milkshake, can't go wrong. Who let the smut in? I don't know, Mason. Budget Ray, enjoy the safe. Oh, how's Jake? It's been a while since I saw him. Is he injured his finger or anything stupid lately? Jake, do you want to say hello? No. no, we don't want to say hello. He's all right. He, he popped his head in on Tuesday. But yeah, he's all right. I often see Drag Queen. She's amazing. She has a new show this year. So can't wait to get to kick the door down and dance and sing all night. Oh, good. Who are you going to go see, Ray? The milk plant is so good. It is so good, right? To be clear, the Jordanian style was an American military base. I, I've lost what we're talking about there. Which cream ray? Testicles. I've heard of her. I'm sure I've heard of her. Testicles. seen her on TikTok so many times. That's probably where I've seen her, isn't it? I don't know what, but they are so much better in Jordan. What are better in Jordan? She's brilliant, she really is. I've heard of testicles, so where's she from? Ira loves testicles, don't you, Ira? 
Wouldn't you like to know, Mason? Wouldn't you like to know, bestie? So originally from the northeast. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry I've seen her. Like, now that Mason says she's on TikTok, I must have seen her loads. I really like bag of chips um, TikTok at the moment. Like, it's really random at the moment. So I have to get some snacks. I'll see you all soon. See you soon. I right, can you explain the process of making an episode? Please like like how you get into what? I reckon you please explain the process of making an envelope, please. Like how you get into get it to be a cut envelope. What? Can you say your question in English, please? Oh, you got your stick, you set them up, Rachel. Oh, I'm so good. Are you like a Eureka? Like, you laminate and trim, you say, but how does it end up as an envelope that's open? At oh, okay, cool. Well, we're gonna do all the steps. So you've all seen these steps a million times, right? So if I talk you through what I'm doing next after this, uh, that might help, right? Why are you thinking of um, opening a competitive shop, Mason? Is it going to be budget with Mason? And you'll get 8K sales before Christmas, before me. Are those your plans? Are you praying for my downfall? How do you make it have an open slot? <laughs> Rachel, don't. <laughs> Mason wants a step-by-step -step of the envelopes. How many envelopes does a mini binder hold, please? Uh, the mini binder has 25 envelopes in it. Look forward to that, Sarah. Ira, you should really sell A7 envelopes and A7 binders. I'll buy them all. I do sell A7 envelopes. I sell A7 laminated and luxury envelopes. Binders are on their way, bestie. There's an artistic bone in my body. Would you like one? Lul! <laughs> I'm joking with that. <laughs> hey, Ira. I wonder if you get the monthly stickers in your budget bestie tier or Patreon. Yes, you do. So as a budget bestie, you can either get the monthly book, the weekly book, the monthly stickers or the weekly stickers. The world is your oyster. I was wondering if you get, uh, I am not autistic, I'm an accountant. Uh, I work in care, so I get it. Thank you, Ira. Report. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I do deserve that. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Is he too busy rushing his work? The zip ones are aren't, oh my God, what? What? Oh, the, so the Zipper A7s I don't sell currently because I am waiting for a shipment of zippers. And as you know, it takes a couple months to come. Uh, so they will be there eventually. They're just not there yet. Joking, not joking. You're getting the A7 binders. I will do eventually, yeah. Uh, don't know yet. I will get them eventually. They're just not yet. I don't know if they're going to be 
um, tanks. I don't know how long they're gonna be. They just take a really long time. And it's like a, a big, like, initial investment. I'm not sure if I've even done the order fully yet. Because it's just a lot of money. I just wanted to make sure I had everything for Christmas ready. So you never know. Where do you expect it? I have no idea. I really don't know. What am I buying you for Christmas? I would get you an advent candle, but I know you can't be trusted around those. Okay, so we're ready for the tutorial on how the how the envelope works. Are you still there, Mason? I can't buy budget stuff from other people that it feels like betrayal. It is betrayal. It is betrayal. <laughs> so Person's Perfect is doing some A7 binders, so excited. Not swear. <laughs> yes, she is. They are. They're beautiful. Thank you, everyone, who has hit the like button, subscribe. So Person's Perfect is cuter anyway. <laughs> All right. Well, after that, maybe I won't show you. Okay, right. So this is the um, envelope as it is so far. So, so far, what we have is we have a laminated backside and then we have half a window and a strip. And then that's encapsulated in vinyl. So you've got a bit of a sandwich there. So if I cut the top strip here, so we cut right up to the line. So here, if you see, we've literally cut right there. So what you'll then see is literally what it is. So we've got the back bit and on the back of that is the two sides of this. And then we've got the other side of the window, which is bonded to the bit of this as well. And in the middle of that, we've put the strip. So all I've got to do is cut around it and I cut around it like this. And there you have your plumbus. Does that answer the question? I'll have to have a look. Uh, thank you, Beth, and gives me anxiety ordering from others too, to be fair, because I know the Iris products are amazing and affordable. Thanks, me. Um, but yeah, um, so far sounds perfect. I definitely recommend. She is like doing a lot of binders at the moment. And um, she's been a, uh, like a personal friend of mine for like, like more than 10 years. We've known each other for a really long time. So if I can support her in any way, I always will. And her stuff is absolutely lovely. Like it is proper, proper lovely. A laminated backside, absolutely. You're on a TikTok date, oh good. Bonded to the middle, all right. We're getting innuendo out of a cash envelope, all right. Thought you said bandage, bandage there. Uh, check everyone out budget with Mason's shop ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'd love for like to sort like help out more shops. I just don't want to get burned the way I did last time. Do you all remember that? That was like a lot harder on me than I like made out. Do you all remember that? All right, I'll buy stuff from her. I promise I'll be back to buy from you. <laughs> well, she doesn't sell, well, she does sell like zipper envelopes, but only A6. Um, so I'm pretty, I'm confident that like you'll get her stuff and, and love it. But like you'll get, if you want envelopes, you might want them from me. Like I'm pretty happy with what I'm doing. What actually happened? Spill the full tea. Right, okay, you want the full tea? You, do you want the full tea? Sorry, I has my business. What happened? I need the tea. Tell Zyra. <laughs> oh no! 
sure you don't know the tea. So do you remember I used to, on the back of the budget booklets, share a UK creator. Um, so I did it with Sarah for the first one. And like, I've like, in some small way, really, really helped out like so many like not to like be big headed or anything but like smaller channels and smaller etsy shops i've helped them out by exposing them because they aren't making the sales you know not in a big headed way but in a factual and realistic way they're not making the sales that i am so if i can help in any small way yes they can have like um, a space on the back of my budget booklet because you know while it would take, I, you know, and it was quite a lot of effort, right? So I'd have to email them, say, would you like to collaborate with this? It, you know, you have to design this and I'd wait for their design and, you know, clean it up a little bit because it's usually done on Canva and I have to sort of fix it in some way um, and do all of that stuff. And like, whereas I could just design a saving challenge myself and be done with it sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I used to do that and I did that for ages. Tea and biscuits. Hi, Snow Gardener. I think I uh, saw this from the other side. Thought it was uh, so orcs. What happens against you, right? Right. So basically, what happened is I did it with uh, a someone in October, and I forgot to tag their shop. Um, in the video, but in the video, obviously, I talked about how much I liked them and respected them and all that stuff, which is why I asked them to sort of collaborate. But let's 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 be really, really frank about this. I make zero money out of them collaborating with them. They are not in any way helping me out because I could just like design it myself, like. It, it, I'm actually going out of my way to help someone else out, right? So I didn't tag them immediately in the YouTube video. And apparently, because there's a big group of them, they're all like besties with each other, but there are moles in the camp because, you know, <laughs> there are moles in the camp. Um, apparently, um, somebody got really annoyed that I wasn't, um, I didn't tag them immediately, which was a genuine error, right? And was furious about it. And obviously everyone started being really horrible to me in the comments. And I was like, that's really, really harsh. But the thing that upset me the most is someone told me that I was profiting off of somebody else and not crediting them for their work, which is absolutely not what happened because A, the the work has their name plastered over it like this is my product and it doesn't even have my logo on it it has their logo on the back of it do you know what i mean and and then it was like i was just getting accused of like really really gross things and then somebody um a couple people there's a couple people in my dms on instagram being like how could you blah 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 and i'm like what are you even talking about obviously i didn't respond and then one person was like you need to go and k-word yourself and i'm like is this over a savings challenge can we all chill out so because of that i will never ever ever collaborate with anyone ever again other than people that i explicitly trust and when i say explicitly trust it's like people that i have like people that have my mobile number do you know what i mean like and like a couple of you guys like i'll never do that again and that's why jake designs all of the saving challenges now but it got so ugly and it got me so down because i was really trying to do something nice um and it was super super gross and really awkward and like i, I was even days later watching people that i thought I liked and people that I thought liked me. I was watching their YouTube channel and they're going, shout out to this person. How gross would it be if you didn't, you know, if you profited off of someone else's work? And I'm like, can we all just chill out, please? Because not once did I profit from any ever, ever doing it. Like, not once did I ever profit from you having a back page of my booklet. So yeah, that's all the tea. But that was super gross. It was such a gross situation. And it ruined something that was so nice for so many people. But yeah, that's all the tea. 
name and shame. Uh, no, I wouldn't because I actually do have a bit of class um, and I wouldn't do that. But they've named and tried to name and shame me plenty of time. But fortunately, they have a um, smaller platform and, you know, All you have to do is go back to the video. <laughs> Who was it? One person could be so rude and make it awful, Vira. Ah, you talked about it. you were fair. Ah, oh, thank you. You made a small error, completely accidental, and blew it out. Con yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Ira, has my order gone out for the envelopes and dividers? Erin. Uh, yes, yours has. Yours went today. It was everyone else getting involved and everyone's like, that's right, everyone got involved. But I think because there's like a group of them, they're all like, oh, Ira's so horrible. He's like using somebody else's work and not giving them credit for it. I'm like, I'm not using anybody's work. I could just do this myself. It's like, I'm trying to help you out here and you're giving me shit for that. Yeah, I can't believe you missed this, Mason. Please, can someone say who it was so I don't want to buy from all of this group? <laughs> Just mean girls. Yeah, you're right. Uh, it's the October release. Just look at the comments in the October release videos. Unsubscribe it. No, don't. No, don't. Don't do that. Because if you like them not knowing that, then you like them. Like, do you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not expecting you to... I'm not expecting you to do anything. And in fact, that'd be the opposite of what I wanted to happen. I, like, I'm glad that it's all over. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't want you to go and unsubscribe from people and I wouldn't want you to definitely please don't go and send any mean things to anybody because they may, they've told me that they were not involved in it. So let's trust that at face value. It was simple budgets. It was simple budgets all along. It was actually simple budgets. Oh no, don't do anything like that. Don't throw people's challenges in the bin or anything like that. It's a nice challenge. <laughs> but can we all please unsubscribe from simple budgets, please? <laughs> Other people. <laughs> Exactly. Don't be mean to them because you'll be stooping to their level. 100%. Carry on supporting who you like. Carry on watching the videos that bring you joy. But you wanted to know the tea? You got the tea. Right? Bloody simple budgets. That's right, we're only kind, except for to Simple Budgets. Because she has fruity fish for dinner. And that is an unacceptable life choice that I cannot get behind. <laughs> My orders are done. I've done all three besties. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bring out our bestie, Paula. Here she is. Everyone say hello to Paula. Hashtag fishy fruit, absolutely. Rabid ferrets get stuck in their trousers. Do you know what, Carpe? Love that. A violent honey badger crosses their path. This community is usually so support, but very now and then there'll be a bad apple. Hello, Paula. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what, besties? You've done all right. And we, we're, we've only been going live for 74 minutes. So we still got technically like another sort of 16 minutes left of this live. So what else can we get up to? They were so busy getting their tea, we failed our mission. Right? You just wanted that sweet, sweet tea. You were sipping on that tea. Do 
How are you doing, Snow Gardener? If everybody over here, have you watched Snow Gardener's videos? Because she's one of the first budgeters that I ever, ever watched. And it actually feels like we've got a celebrity in the midst. Um, Snow Gardener's one of the very first budgeters that I watched. Definitely check out her channel. It's all in American, but I mean, we can't hate her for that, right? Bestie, teddy bug duvet. I've got it in grey, peach, and like cream. Like, it is a game changer, isn't it? Which gets working today and headed to teach a class to, to my co workers. Oh, well, good luck. Teaching adults is not easy. <laughs> it's all in American, so. Uh, sleep well, Mason. Uh, I just barely got back into budgeting channel. I've been doing Vlogmas, my other channel, Snow Gunner 307, and it's keeping me so busy. Right, Bestie? Same. It started snowing here tonight. I'm so glad I got the teddy bear fleece. Let me have a look outside. I can't tell if that's snow or just loads of frost. It is pretty, pretty chilly. Yeah, teaching adults is hard. Oh, really? If anybody hasn't followed Snow Garner, please go ahead and do it. You will not regret it, Besties, honestly. I watch her religiously. She's like us. Like, you know how we name our laminators? She's, like, named her plant, her piggy bank. Like, everything's got a name, and they've all got, like, backstories and everything. I just kill mine. <laughs> it's like I've got Sims. I just kill laminators after I've named them. County Durham. I swear to God. Oh, that's really kind. Thank you guys for following Snow Gardener. You, you won't regret it. You'll really like her, I swear. No way, I've been looking out all day and he happened when he's got home. So excited. Snow Gardener is particularly American Leos. But I digress. See how loud Paula's getting. She might be dying soon. But she's still laminating really nice, so you never know. What are some of your favourite UK Xmas traditions? Um, so, uh, what, what traditions do we have? I don't think we really, ha I don't really have any traditions. I can just see a farm Ira rounding up all his stray laminates. <laughs> could you imagine? Never trust Ira, absolutely. Can you give us the link please? For oh, for Snow Gardener, yeah. Let me just get it for you. So there's two. So there's... I just need to... 307. So still going to 307. Which is this link here. So it's youtube.com at Snow Gardener. And then the other one... is everything but the budgets, which is the one she needs a bit of help with, which I can't find. I cannot see it. Sorry, besties, I could just find the Snow Gardener one. Oh, you dropped that one already. Oh, good, 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 good. Yeah, Christmas traditions. I mean, like, every year my Christmas is different. And you know what? I'm going to Tunisia this Christmas, so I can't pay too much attention to traditions, really, can I? Mm. 
Mistletoe. All right. Yes, a link. Used to love Midnight Mass as a kid. So I just subscribed. All the piggies in the blankets tradition. Each year my family has a different theme for Christmas. Oh, that's nice. Uh, like last year, we had got us through lockdown, so made Christmas tree out of toilet paper. Cute. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Almost 1k. Our Christmas traditions uh, are each year uh, the kids take turns in playing Father Christmas on top of the tree. We have a Chinese on Christmas Eve. Oh, nice. Then Bucksburgs and bacon sandwich for breakfast. Lovely. Have a great day, Snow Gardener. My sister's growing up was we woke up as a gift at the end of our bed that we was allowed to open the moment we woke. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, I don't do anything like that. Um, well, a recent tradition in the last sort of nine years is obviously I've always worked in retail. So on Christmas Eve, when I finished that last shift, I would call Jake on the way home and sing to him, drive it home for Christmas. Um, but I won't be doing that to him this year because I won't be doing anything on Christmas Eve. Because the post office won't be open, so... And I won't be making parcels or anything. I don't, and I'll be in Tunisia, so... <laughs> so it's a bit of a weird one, really. I think Jake will call me on his drive home, but his last shift is like the 20th or something. We have dominoes on Christmas Eve. Nice. Christmas Eve is like um, we have chestnuts and I don't know what else actually. Definitely have chestnuts on Christmas Eve. Christmas dinner on Christmas Eve, so then Christmas Day is all about playing with the kids and chilling. Oh, that's cool. I know a lot of Polish people who uh, do all their presents and everything on Christmas Eve. I don't know if that's a Catholic thing or a specifically Polish thing, like a cultural thing or a religious thing. I'm not too sure. Right? Yeah. Do you know what? If you'd have asked me what is my Christmas this year going to look like, I don't, I would have been like, well, I'll be getting up at 4am all the time. Like, Christmas in retail is just beyond brutal. It's, it's not, it's not fun, besties. It is not the tea. You could always drive around a few loops and in a second loop call him and sing that. Yeah, but I'll be in Africa, so <laughs> I don't know if I'll be driving that day. Cheese and uh, che chest and nuts, who named that one? Your cat farted. I didn't know cats could fart. My little angels never fart. They do like to like puke up hairballs in the middle of the night though. That is fun. <laughs> Cat farted. I didn't think cats could fart. Where I am from, we all have a family around for 24, have a massive meal and stay awake until midnight, open prezzies, eat more food and leave around 2 to 3 a.m. and get back for lunch on Christmas. Wow, that's a bit intense. I don't think I could hack that.
Does budgeting our boy Max smell something horrid to lick farts? Does the hairball stink and look vile though? No, they don't smell of anything. How do I put on straight? Do you know what? I used to have like a little guide that I inserted and now it is basically just second nature now. Like I get it wrong sometimes, but like that's basically it, isn't it? I think if I measured it, it would probably be off by a couple of millimetres, but like it doesn't bother me too much. So holidays is the blue one. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Farting cat chat. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a, that's a, that's intense for Christmas. I don't know if I could hack that. Yeah, my cats don't smell. Except, do you know what? I do have have to have a bit of a huff of my cats every now and then. I I say that um, Gracie especially smells like tinsel. You know that tinsel smell? Do you know what I'm on about? How are we doing besties? I think we're pretty much at the end of the vlog now. It's quieting down a little bit. There's 56 of you and um, I made all of the cash envelopes. So not only did I do all three orders, I started another order. So not doing too badly if I don't say so myself. We could all for the day and then attach food and wine. Uh, it's our first Chris as homo, so I'm pretty excited. Do you know, I can't wait for that to be me as well. I'm very jealous of you. Well done. Snowballs on Christmas Day? Yes. Rachel, yes, anytime. I always have leftovers, give them out in the containers. Please stop talking about food. I'm feeling peckish. <laughs> we all lost the bet. You did. You all, oh, look, it, it did change to three. You all started voting after I was like, I think three will happen. You all changed your vote. I need to stop drinking this because it's 10 o'clock at night. Okay, besties. I'm gonna get off unless there is some any questions or anything like that. Other than that, videos that you've got, obviously you've got Vlogmas every day and then from Tuesday, you may open your advent calendars. Um, tomorrow we've got a special video at six o'clock. So that video, we are going through all of my YouTube monetization. So how much I've been paid since the channel started and all of that. And then on Saturday, um, somewhere between six o'clock and eight o'clock and I will update you throughout the day because Saturday day I'm going to a craft fair I'm helping out my friend but I will be doing my patreon exclusive cash stuffing on Saturday so I'm hoping to do it about six o'clock but if it goes to eight o'clock I'll just let you know on patreon and then fun stuff on Sunday and yeah we just got vlogmas every day and then we're back to doing a live on the 13th and that is when you're telling me what you got in your advent calendars which i'm excited about years ago we spent a few years of christmas going to do our feeding the homeless that's good You should do a craft fair too, some of your goodies. I don't think people would buy budgeting stuff at a craft fair. I don't think so. Maybe I should take some Saving Challenges Volume 2. See what happens. Who knows? Because I got like a load of them there. Yeah, maybe. 
Uh, night besties, speak to you all on Advent Day 1. Yeah, my daughter will not give mine until Christmas. That's good, because can you be trusted? Uh, can't wait to see what everyone gets in their calendar. 100% Ray, Paula. I can't hurt to test the market out. You never know. Yeah. Okay, cool. So besties, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to see you tomorrow twice. Wednesday, no, Saturday twice, Sunday twice, uh, basically twice a day, basically twice a day. I'll see you later, have fun, and I'll see you on the 13th in the flesh, and I'm excited to see what you got. <clears throat> All right, see you later, besties. Thanks so much for being here today. Bye-bye.